Hi students, welcome to the Short and Hub channel. This is Hari Naganand, Eidu Modi, Short and Instructor. I am offering general and legal dictations for all short and grades. For this short and subject, I am conducting both online and offline classes for the students. This dictation passage link and the crucial links are given in the description box. If you really feel that this dictation can help you in the competitive examinations, please click the like button, share the video and make a comment. Those who want to join the telegram group can join through the link given in the description box. Get ready for the dictation on the topic of Indian universities gain global recognition. PM Modi. Okay, one, two, three, start. Prime Minister Narendra Modi asserted on Friday that advanced policies and decisions taken in the last few years in the education sector have boosted global recognition for Indian universities. Addressing the farewell ceremony of Delhi University's centenary, centenary celebrations, the Prime Minister noted that the number of Indian universities that featured in the latest global ranking has rushed to 45 from 12 in 2014 the year he became the Prime Minister. He also talked about the need for institutes to shift focus from what a student should study to what a student wants to study and added that institutes such as ITIs, IIMS, AIIMS and NITs are becoming the building blocks of the country. The PM travelled on the Delhi Metro to attend the Delhi University Centenary event. When I was invited, I immediately decided that I will surely visit Delhi University. So today, just like you all, I came to Delhi University in the Delhi Metro chatting with my colleagues. Viral videos on social media showed Modi sitting in the Delhi Metro as a common passenger and interacting with people during the ride. Happy to have youngsters as my co-passengers, the Prime Minister tweeted, sharing a few pictures of his interaction with students inside the coach. Later, while addressing the event, the Prime Minister shared his Metro experience. The Prime Minister also talked about his recent state visit to the US and said that global respect for India has increased because of the world's faith in India's youngsters. He recalled about how there were only three colleges at the beginning of Delhi University and today there are more than 90 colleges and added that the number of female students is higher than male students in the country now, citing agreements signed between India and the US during his recent visit, the Prime Minister said this will bring new opportunities for youngsters in fields ranging from the earth to space, semiconductors and artificial intelligence. India's youngsters will have access to technologies that used to be out of their reach, the Prime Minister said, adding that it will boost their skill development. Companies like Micron and Google will be investing heavily in the country. It is a sign of the India of the future, he said. Praising the university's contribution to different aspects of life, the Prime Minister said it is not merely a university but a movement. He referred to celebrated ancient Indian universities and said that they were a source of happiness and prosperity and India's science guided the world in that area. India used to have a big share in global GDP. Then the Prime Minister said, adding that hundreds of years of slavery destroyed its centers of education. He said that when India's 
intellectual journey stopped its growth also stalled he asserted that those with knowledge are happy and strong the number of indian starts up has crossed a lakh now he said compared to a few hundred of them before 2014 citing india's growth in the last few years the pm said the figures per patents have rushed the third decade of the last century gave new momentum to the independence movement the prime minister said and he expressed confidence that the ongoing third decade of this century will give a fill up to the country development journey noting that the delhi universities 125th year will coincide with the country's hundreds years of independence modi said it should dedicate itself to the goal of achieving a developed india by 2047 during the event he also laid the foundation stone of the delhi university computer center buildings of the faculty of technology and the academic blocks on the north campus of the university stop if you want to get more updates please subscribe our channel small note gram logs contractions phrases advanced phrases special list of words needs to be written once in every 15 days and then only you will get a better speed in stenography thank you